Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. Real quick one for you guys. Have we ever printed on a particular paper that may be some other brand other than whatever the printer brand is and you get some smudging? It seems like the paper never dries properly. It seems that it's very sensitive to handling, touching. It may smear. Okay, let me show you some examples of that. It's probably the paper. The paper is just simply not coated with a coating made for inkjet printing. Okay, here's what happens. I'll show you an old paper that had a strange type of coating back in the day. It was basically gelatin based. It was really good for encapsulating dye ink so they would not fade as quickly without that type of coating. Back then, inks were terrible they were not anywhere as good as today's inks but here's what happens so this paper takes forever to dry but watch this i'm going to squirt a tiny little bit of water on here a couple of drops that's all it takes i'm going to go ahead and rub it I could feel the, the, the stickiness of the coating immediately beginning to affect. Look at that. I mean, orient that. Look at that. It's mirroring. Look at the ink just, just pouring out of this edge here. Okay. I pulled this out of the trash because I realized after I got done with that experiment how bad this paper was. One of the couple of papers that failed on that printer. Okay. Not many. Just one and another one sort of did. But not quite to that extent. Now we're going to go ahead and try the same thing. But this time on Ultra Premium Photo Glossy from Epson. Right here. I just printed this. It hasn't even had a chance to fully dry yet. And I'm going to dribble some ink on this deepest portion right here. If this is going to smear, it's going to immediately show. I want to make sure that I get it right there. I don't want to get water on my keyboard let's go ahead and rub it and no ink do it a little bit harder and no ink now guess what that print this one is still a little bit damp actually that print was done on the 8550 and so was the previous one so same ink same printer it's just one paper the ink just basically will melt away with the soluble surface coating so this is not a soluble surface coating it cannot be affected once it fully dries i can actually submerge it under water it may lose a little bit of the density but you will not have smearing of the ink so anytime you have a defect where your, your, your ink is rubbing off, especially pigment ink. Pigment ink doesn't really penetrate that well on even a so-called microporous surface paper. It sort of stays on the surface, so it's more likely to rub off than dye ink. Dye ink penetrates a lot easier, a lot deeper into that coating, and so it is protected once it is fully dry, which this is not. Okay, this is not fully dry yet. So I just printed it, like I said, about... 20 minutes ago so choose the correct paper experiment with it especially 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 if you are switching to third-party inks okay they're not going to have the same capabilities as original oem inks they may react differently to certain paper coatings that's just a fact so that is it don't be surprised if this happens to you if that's the case is the inks not liking that paper and the paper not liking your inks in the case of oem it's probably the paper because of course oem inks will not normally cause something like that to happen all right that's it for now thank you so much don't forget to subscribe share and like and until the next time happy printing everybody and bye bye